first taking a piece of paper and then folding that in half, I'm going to start making the card. And I took a piece of cardboard, try to measure it up, um, just guessing to see how big I wanted it to be. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit smaller than the actual paper so that it, um, I could center it. So I cut that out and I rounded the edges of it. And I started to center it and you see the edges around. I'm just going to paint this with acrylic paint and I kind of put different shades of uh, red on it. So once I did that, I'm going to start drawing on the little cats with a pencil. And it's really simple to do. You just do like a, an oval. Yeah, pretty much <laughs> an oval. And the sides I just made fuzzy for the, you know, the whisker cheeks parts. And the ears are sort of triangles. Hopefully you can see a little bit better now that I zoomed in. But the pencil was pretty light. And for the body, it's just a fuzzy ball. You don't need to draw it out if you don't want to. I just did this to um, know where I wanted everything to be. And my tail, oh my god, the tail was horrible. But that's okay. You don't really know, need to <laughs> draw well um, in order to make this. So then I just drew the other cat on the other side. And I started to draw the fence. So here's the other cat, and then I just started to sketch out the fence a little bit. And again, this is just to know where everything's going to go, not necessarily, you know, to keep it in that exact shape since it was, you know, an ugly sketch anyways. So then after I figure it out where everything's going to go and how everything's going to look and how big it is, etc. Um, I had a little bit more details, I decided to make like little hearts above the cat's heads because they're in love. That's why they're holding uh, tails, not hands. And then I took a piece of cardboard that has ridges on it to make it look like a fence. And I just um, decorated a little bit using markers. I made a bunch of lines and try to make it look like wood. If you're going to make the fence 3D, then do it before you actually make the cats. I know you guys probably already know that's how it should be, you know, because everything should be in layers and stuff. But um, since I make everything up as I go, I didn't know that I was going to make the fence 3D and I ended up making the cat completely and then having to add in the fence by cutting it into like seven pieces or something which thankfully in the end you can't tell that it was in seven pieces so here I'm just finishing up the decorations and here you see the different pieces there's a piece on each side and then in the middle part there's like three or four pieces so this is the last piece and I just gotta cut it a little bit more and now to actually show you guys how to make the cats I just took a cotton ball and I took it apart try to measure to see how much I needed and took out the um, excess cotton balls since you know you don't really need that much and I just rolled it up into a ball try to make it fit and just glue that on there and when it was glued on there, you could mold it and did the exact same thing with the body, except the body is obviously a little bit bigger. And then for the ears, I think it's the least amount of cotton balls that you need. You could use a different kind of glue. I just use a glue stick because they it seems to dry quicker and um, apply better, I guess. So I just stuck in the ears and I started to mold it with my finger. It's really easy. 
might be a little bit messy at first since cotton balls, you know, if you rip them apart, they're really annoying. And for the tail, I just took an extra piece and I rolled that using the palms of my hands, just rolling it up and then twisting it a little bit to make it longer. And that's it, that's the tail. For the other cat, I used a gray felt and I cut that into pieces. Then when I glued everything together, I just took two thin pieces of paper and I'm just going to glue that right on their necks for a collar. As you can see, I added a little bit of glitter onto the girl's, the girl cat's collar and um, I'm just going to add some glitter for the I love you part. And for the gray cat, I just used some paint to make some stripes and use a little bit of marker to darken up his color. I'm almost done with this. I'm just going to color in the hearts that are above their heads. And I outline the I love you part to emphasize it and make it stand out a little bit more. So that's the finished card. You can see that it's a bit lifted up so that everything looks 3D, which I think is really cool. I love cards that are 3D, you know, it makes them look, I don't know, cuter. So that's it. I added all the little details. And you guys can make any kind of cat, make it however way you want. Just um, use this idea and make whatever you <laughs> want to make. Mm -hmm.